Now, to be clear, I do not agree with burning a Quran. I don't agree with drilling holes in a Quran. However, if you own it and it is your possession in a liberal democracy, you have the right to do with it whatever you want. The, West, the Western world is being consumed by hatred. The hatred of the Marxists, the hatred of the Nazis, the hatred of the Islamists. What you sow into the world is what you will reap. If you sow hatred into the world, you will reap a civil war. Because there are enough people on both sides to make a fight of it. And all the ingredients of a civil war are currently present in the United Kingdom. Go and look at the civil war that happened in Yugoslavia. Go and look at the civil war that happened in Lebanon. Go and look at the civil war that happened in Sudan. Civil wars need the following ingredients. Different ethnicities, different ideologies, different religions, and sufficient commitment on all sides to fight for what they believe in. Liberal, plural, secularism has created, has built the ingredients of a civil war in Western Europe. Because we have abandoned the things that made us European. And we have said that you can live in these lands without ever embracing the things that united us as a continent. And what are the ingredients of a European civilization? Greek philosophy, Roman law, and Christian doctrine. These are the foundations of what it means to be European. We need to commit ourselves to these things and preserve them and to abandon the failed ideology of liberal progressive thought, which is creating the ingredients for civil strife on our streets. The wood is growing dry. The tinder is becoming bone dry. The sparks are beginning to happen. And unless the West radically moves in a different direction, we will see civil strife become civil war. There are reports coming out of Switzerland of Islamist riots connected to the burning of a Quran. Now, to be clear, I do not agree with burning a Quran. I don't agree with drilling holes in a Quran. However, if you own it and it is your possession in a liberal democracy, you have the right to do with it whatever you want. Perfect. And if you abandon the rights that we have created in the West, you abandon the idea of a civil liberal democracy. We must defend the right to be offended. No one, no one, no one at all has the right not to be offended. We Christians have had to put up with people desecrating the Bible, calling it art and sticking it in galleries. And all of the liberal progressives have defended the right to desecrate the Bible. We Christians have had to put up with the symbols of our faith, like the crucifix being put into a vat of piss in the name of art. And the liberal progressives have defended the right to do this for Christians. 
but the same liberal, progressive, virtue-signalling hypocrites like we saw earlier will say that it is wrong to draw Mohammed because it offends Muslims. It's wrong to burn the Quran because it offends Muslims. It's wrong to drill holes in the Quran because it offends Muslims. Well, if you're going to hold that line, then it is wrong to blaspheme against Jesus in your movies, in your art, it is in your songs. It is wrong to blaspheme the crucifix in your art or to desecrate a Bible in your art. But it, if it is right to do it to Christians, it is right to do it to Muslims. Make up your mind and be consistent. It cannot be one rule for one and another rule for other. Any questions before I move on? Okay, brilliant. So I want to talk about the Dawah team.